It's time for Growing Hope, the show determined to grow up hearts open to pursue the extraordinary. Because you are extraordinary! And now, it's your host, Katherine Lang. Hello there and welcome to Growing Hope. I am Katherine Lang, your face of encouragement or voice of encouragement or just your basic all around Hope Smith extraordinaire because I believe in the power of hope. I believe that a seed of hope planted and nurtured really will grow up into a world of possibilities, not only for you, but for everybody that encounters the hope that you grow up. Hope is catching. Hope Hope will um, multiply faster than kudzu in the South. (laughs) And it's even better about holding things together. So we are investing in hope. We are investing in ways to dare to believe in the possibilities, to dare to see the silver lining, to dare to challenge the, the storm. To just look it in the face and say, no, you are not the truth of the situation. The sun is there. The sun is shining. And I am going to experience the sun again. And we're doing this by developing our ability to talk like a butterfly. Because when you talk like a butterfly, you are not tethered to the limitations of the world. You are living in the flight. You are living in your possibility. You are daring to uh, reach your possibilities. So we are today taking a leap. We're taking off. We're jumping because you cannot take flight without taking a leap. (laughs) So first, we're going to get a jump start and then we're going to uh, jump stretch. <laughs> and then we're going to high jump. And then we're going to cross leap. So we're going to move to the side. And then we're going to completely release all hindrances, all tethers. And we are going to take flight. We can live out our big dreams. We can pursue our impossibilities. We can be more and do more and grow more and share more than we ever dreamed possible when we start doing it, when we step out into it, when we move towards it. That's how we live out these big dreams. It's great and it's important to have plans, but it's even more important to step into those plans. A plan without action is just paper. We are designed to be so much more than just paper. We are designed to live bold, purposeful lives unique to each one of us. But we have to choose to live the uniqueness. We have to choose to be our unique self. And learning to talk butterfly takes us to that. It leads us into that. I am, I enjoy taking leaps. I enjoyed taking them even more when I was younger, but I always was aware of my situation. So when I took a leap, I knew what safety measures I had. But when I was in at Camp McDowell, which is an Episcopal church camp in Alabama, they had this thing called a pamper pole. And it was just a big telephone pole with a teeny tiny little bit square at the top. <laughs> and you climbed up the um, telephone pole and then you somehow got yourself up on top of the little bitty tiny square. And then you leapt towards the trapeze. It wasn't just enough for me to be the first girl to do the pamper pole. I wanted to take it another step. I allowed them to blindfold me. So now I had to climb up the pamper pole, completely blindfolded. Then I had to climb over onto this teeny tiny little bit square, (laughs) blindfolded. And then I had to trust the people around me to direct me to take my leap and grab the trapeze. Granted, uh, the trapeze was 
a good distance from the pamper pole and I am five feet tall and you cannot get a running leap when you're on a pamper pole. So I did not actually grab the pamper pole. I did, however, make the leap and touch the pamper pole. But I could never have said I attempted the pamper pole if I had not taken the leap. I could have climbed the pamper pole, but I did not fully attempt it until I took the leap. So we have to be willing to take the leap if we're going to take flight into our possibilities. We have to be willing to do what is required to get us up off the ground. So the first thing we have to do is get a jump start, a little bitty, teeny, tiny leap, just, just enough, just a little jolt, something that says, hey, I'm here. Um, it's kind of like when somebody gooses you. <laughs> That's kind of the jump start I'm talking about. It's just something little that uh, that gets us off the shelf and, and begins us in this process of learning to let go. It's kind of like doing jumping jacks. You're just a little in the air. You're just a little in the air. You're just a little in the air. And the whole idea is that you're getting comfortable with taking the leap. Although it could possibly be actual leaping, what I'm talking about really when it comes to being a butterfly, when it comes to taking flight, when it comes to untethering from this world, it's taking that jump into your unique design. What is it that you are designed to do? What it is, is it that's unique to you? What is it that's different? And how can you just a little, just a little jolt, leap into that uniqueness? The more you understand who you uniquely are, the, the bolder you become in that uniqueness. And the more you begin to take those little leaps and then a little bit bigger and then a little bit bolder, and then a little bit stronger. But you have to start with the little jumps. Then you have to stretch your jumps. Just like when I did the pamper pole, I had to be willing to stretch. So the second thing we have to do is have these jump stretches, these, these jumps that are m m drawing us away from the person we were and pulling us towards or pushing us towards or moving us towards the person that we are called to be. It is really easy to get comfortable, even in our uncomfortable place, because it's we know it. But when we start jumping into our possibilities, when we start taking those leaps of action, then we're moving away from what we know. And we're moving directly into the unknown. It's kind of like standing on that pamper pole which was nerve wracking enough because I was completely blindfolded. But then leaping, leaping and not just leaping, but stretching as hard as I could stretch to try to grab that pamper pole so that I would not fall. Now I was harnessed, so I wasn't actually going to fall. And in truth, you're not actually going to fall either. You might not reach the pamper pole, but you're going to accomplish so much in taking your leap. You're going to become so much more than you were because you're going to stretch beyond the limitations you're in right now. And every time we stretch, every time we dare to be more, every time we dare to move out, we grow stronger and better and bolder in pursuit of our unique design. You are not going to catch the pamper pole the, the trapeze from the pamper pole the first time you jump. But you're going to learn. And then you're going to stretch and you're going to grow and you're going to leap again and you're going to be closer to your unique design than ever before. But you have to stretch. You have to be willing to jump and stretch in order to begin to move past where you are. The third way that taking a leap moves us into our unique design begins to allow us to become the butterfly is that is by um, the high jump. I don't know if you've ever done the high jump. I've never done the high jump. <laughs> Did I mention I'm five feet tall? <laughs> it wasn't exactly on my checklist of things to do when I was on the drag team and it really wasn't on the coach's list, <laughs> but the high jump, is it requires you not only to leap, but and not only to stretch, 
but to run and to coordinate the poll and then to to trust that pole because when you watch somebody do the high jump it looks like that pole is going to shatter <clears throat> so you are running into your unique design you are trusting the tools that you put in place the practices that you put in place the habits that you put in place you are jumping off the ground in a flying leap and then you are bending and shaping and twisting and turning and flexing your body, flexing your designs, flexing your plan as you leap into your uniqueness. This goes back to the focus flexibility. We know we want to get on the other side of that pole, but sometimes we have to really stretch or really twist, or really bend in order to get over that pole clean. When we are on our journey to our unique design, things are not always going to go the way we plan. More often than not, they're going to go the way they want to go. I like to say that just about the time we get it all together, somebody goes and moves the middle. <laughs> and that's going to happen in this journey. But the good news is, is if we're flexible in our focus, then we can get over that pole. And when we get over that pole, the rest is gravy. We just have to make sure we hit the landing and, 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 and there's a cushion there that's going to catch us. And that's part of putting your tools in place. So when we're on this journey to discover our unique design, we're, when we're on this path to take flight as our butterfly, we have a plan in place. We put in place a plan to reach our big dream goals. We know where we're going. We just have to be willing to run and jump and bend and land. <laughs> and we can do this. The fourth thing is the, um, the cross leap. So when we are moving out into our possibilities, sometimes because of a roadblock, because of a detour, because of a change in season, we can't leap forward. So we have to leap to the side. And we're not losing sight of our goal. We're not losing sight of our big dream. We're just going to jump from this point to this point in order to get around the barrier that's standing in our way. Now, that doesn't mean that when we get past that barrier, we aren't going to leap back into our, our lane. But for now, we're going to leap to the side to get around this detour or this distraction or this barrier. When I started homeschooling the boys, that they were with me 24-7. And as I launched my writing career, I had to find ways to leap around toddlers <laughs> in order to get my writing done. And it did not work out the way I wanted, but because I was willing to leap, to cross leap, to move over here and focus over here, I managed to get a lot done. And more importantly, I learned new skills in the process. Cross sleeping, when you look at it as an opportunity, can allow you to learn things you would not have learned if you had stayed in this lane. So when you do have to cross sleep, be open, be interested, and be learning. Because the things that go on over here in this lane are very different from the things that may be going over on over here in this lane. I had to learn to do work on the go, which was great down the road when I was sitting at the hospital with my father-in-law, when I was taking my mother to her doctor's appointments. Um, I was able to keep putting into practice this cross sleep in all of these different seasons that I encountered as I was moving forward in my writing career. So when you are moving forward into who you are uniquely designed, be aware that sometimes we're going to have to cross sleep in order to get to the, to the next step in this journey. And finally, when it comes to taking a leap, <laughs> we have to be ready to do that leap that is a complete release. No harness on this one. The first time I went up to High Falls in Alabama, and it's a it's a waterfall that I mean there's several different waterfalls, and people go out to different points and they they jump. 
then the first time I went, I was like, eh, I don't think so. <laughs> but it didn't take me long to realize that the point that I had picked out was very much like the high dive at our swimming pool. Okay. It was a little bit taller than the high dive at our swimming pool. And you could see the bottom at the swimming pool. You could not see the bottom at high falls. So I, I had to be willing in order to get down to the bottom of the uh, falls. I had to be willing to take that leap and let go and trust that my training, my experience and the experience of the people who have gone before me was going to get me safely through this jump. That's the whole idea. You have to run to the edge and then you have to leap. You have to go. There's going to come a time in your unique design where you have to dare to just jump. Go all in. And when you continue to go all in boldly, purposefully, focused on your unique design, you will see things change. You will see things shift and just keep doing it. Sometimes you're going to be uh, jumping big waterfalls. Sometimes you're going to be jumping over the ditch. Have you ever tried to hold on to this side of the ditch and get over to that side of the ditch? It don't end well. <laughs> we have to let go. When we are taking that leap into our unique design, we have to completely let go of what's behind us and just jump all in 100% and lean into it. If you'll lean into that jump, you'll get a little extra momentum for your effort. Take a leap of faith. Dare to jump into your unique design. We've walked it out. We have fed the caterpillar. We have built the cocoon. We've broken out of the cocoon. Now we're taking flight and we're taking flight by taking a leap. First, we're taking that little jump start, the little jump. And second, we are taking that jump stretch where we're, we're, we're getting bolder. Third, we're going to do the high jump. Fourth, we're going to do the little cross leap. And finally, we're going to do that jump of complete release. When you take off, when you jump into your possibilities, when you let go of the tethers, let go of the world, then you can live out all that you're uni uniquely designed to do and to be. But you have to take the leap to make it happen. And only you can take the leap and only you can de determine what your leaps are supposed to be because it's your journey. It is your unique journey. Nobody else can define it for you. Now, you can give that power away if you want, but you will never live your unique design dictated by what other people tell you to do. Only your understanding, your belief, your focus, your determination, and your revelation of who you are will allow you to walk it out. And if you're struggling with that, please contact me. You can go over to katherinelang.com. There's a button in the sidebar that says schedule a call today. It's a free call. We can begin talking about what it is, where it is, and how it is for you in your unique place. I am not just the face of the encouragement. I'm a heart of encouragement. And I want to pour that out into you, over you, and for you. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Growing Hope. Remember, whatever it is you're doing in all that you're doing, find ways to be blessed and to be a blessing. Thank you for joining us for Growing Hope with Catherine Lang, where we are sharing hope, encouragement, and inspiration to do more. Visit www.catherinelang.com to invite Catherine to be part of your event or to share your own stories of possibility living. Until next time, remember that a seed of hope planted and nurtured will grow up into a world of possibilities.